Hey guys and gals, this is Radar Roy from SEO Training SW.com with this week's SEO Tip of the Week for May 9th, 2010. This week, one of our subscribers of our SEO Tip of the Week emailed me and says, Roy, how did you go about and integrate YouTube and use YouTube for your SEO and your internet marketing when you had Radar Busters, and how do you do it today? So it was a really, really great question. I want to thank the subscriber for emailing me that. And again, if any of you uh, subscribers have any particular questions about SEO or Internet marketing, please email me, and I'll be sure to answer your particular questions. But I thought this question was so interesting. Not only am I doing uh, our SEO tip of the week about that, but I also made an entire blog post to answer her specific question. And we have that entire blog post. I welcome you to come over to our website, seotrainingsw.com, where you can read the blog post in more detail. I highlight a couple things what I've learned over the course of over 10 years of using video. I started using video back in 2001 when we owned Radar Busters, and it was really a game changer for us. It able to us to connect with our uh, viewers. They could see exactly who I was. And when the caller contacted me, he had a really good feeling of who I was and really created trust with the viewer. And that really hit home was back in 2001 when I was up in South Dakota on vacation. And I, ha I literally had a guy run across the street, shake my hand and thank, yelling, you know, when he was ro running across the street, Radar Roy, Radar Roy. And then thank me for me selling a radar detector. And when he said, Roy, it was just like you were sitting in my living room speaking to me one-on-one, -on -one. that's when I decided I was going to buy your radar detector. So it was really a game changer for us. Then in October 2006, I found out about YouTube. A month before Google acquired YouTube for $1.6 billion, YouTube was another big game changer for us because YouTube was, you know, was a social media site or is a social media site today. It is the second largest search engine in the world. And we started doing our YouTube videos, and we, again, we dec decimated our competition so much so that one of my competitors, NetShops, called me up six months later and says, Roy, we're tired of competing against you. Just tell us what you want. We're going to buy out your entire network and write you a check. During that phone call, I became a millionaire. We sold the entire Radar Busters network for over seven figures, and I became a millionaire. So, guys and gals, consider using YouTube when you're doing your SEO, and again, in our in our SEO uh, tip of the week here, what we're talking about this week, and on our blog, I have some you know some great tips, some things that I would recommend you do. This really helped us out. Number one, you know, when you're doing your videos, try to have some good engaging contact uh, content with your viewers, something that they're going to want to see, read. If you're just going to you know blah 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 blah, nobody's going to watch it. Have some good content. Another very important tip is to have eye contact with your viewers. Let them see who you are. People connect with people. People do not connect with things. And so often, you know, I go to see a YouTube channel or a YouTube video where it might be this, you know, my competitors. Here's this radar detector. And they just have a shot of the radar detector or whatever other product they do, and they never you know, engage the viewer face to face. The eyes are the mirror of the soul. When you're looking at somebody's eyes, you could you know, get a sense that you could trust them. So you know, remember, you know, try to establish eye contact with your uh, viewers that are watching your video. Another thing, video responses. If you're watching this YouTube video, you know, if you like this video, please consider checking out one of the stars below. Hopefully you'll check out one of the five stars, or consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. So remember, you know, to ask, encourage your viewers while they're watching your YouTube to subscribe, to vote for your video. Remember, consider asking a question during your video. When I had Radar Busters, would you know, typically open up one of my videos and say, hey, hey, did you just receive a traffic ticket? And you don't feel that was you know, this traffic ticket was justifiable? Well, I give them a little tips on perhaps how to fight their ticket, but then I would close that. We'll also consider purchasing a radar detector so this doesn't happen again. Remember your keywords, guys and gals. Keywords are very, very important. Use your keywords in your title and also use your keywords in your content. If you're selling radar detectors, put radar detectors in your content or a specific model of a radar detector. If you're selling dried flowers 
you know, put, you know, put the dried flowers in. Whatever you're selling, make sure you put keywords into that. Allow embedding of your videos. So many people are so afraid that, you know, your videos are going to be hijacked. Yeah, my videos are hijacked. But if they are hijacked, I embed a watermark or my website address inside that video. So somebody might have that video on their website, and if a person watches it, they'll see that right there there's going to be the watermark. You know, so if the people really want to know who about, who I'm at, really am and about me they'll go to my website directly so allow embedding you know okay so people watch your videos remember to have a call to action in your video what do you want people to do just like your website you need to walk your visitor around your website like on a leash sometimes I kind of like to say it but you know remember to have a call to action in your video what do you want your viewer to do next and guys and gals you're watching this video hopefully you like this video if you do like this video please consider visiting our website again seotrainingsw.com and when you're ready to take that next step and you're very committed to your internet marketing your search engine optimization consider signing up for our seminars that we have here in phoenix and or in las vegas we have a five-day seminar you're going to learn with other people just like yourself on how to do search engine optimization. So remember to have a call to action in your video. You know what you want people to do next. If you're optimizing your video for local search, make sure you put your business name in the in the content, but also more importantly your address and your zip code, because this is going to optimize well for your local search. Another thing very important about your video. Don't start spamming. I know there's a lot of programs out there that will spam your video, throw it out all over the internet. Hey guys, girls, you know Google's good at detecting spam, and they're going to trash your videos. They're going to blackball your site or, or whatever. Consider your YouTube channel your home, and when visitors come to your home, just think you know what you like. You like to have good videos about who you are, what you're all about. And if you're going to have spam on there, your viewers are going to know that. And this is something that you're not going to be able to sell later, spam. You're here to build a legacy business, a business that is sustainable for the long term. And you cannot do that with spam. So, you know, can really, you know, put a lot of thought into laying out your homepage for your YouTube channel, your homepage for your Twitter channel, whatever, you know, homepage is in your social media. Because, you know, these are like your homes. People are going to come to it, they're going to learn about you, and hopefully they're going to start trusting you and start engaging you. Hey guys and gals, we have a really exciting week coming up this uh, week and also next. This week we have Chris Lang, who is going to have a one-hour teleseminar about Google Buzz. We, in this email that you're going to receive, you'll have a link to sign up for the uh, Google Buzz teleseminar. That's going to be this Thursday night. And then next Tuesday night, really excited about this, we're going to have Joe Sugarman. And he's going to talk about triggers uh, for about an, uh, for an hour. And he's going to answer any questions you have. The last seminar uh, Joe had was back about in 2000, and he charged $6,500 per person. And here's a great opportunity. These, our teleseminars are free. Just click on the link you have in the email, or if you're just watching this video and you didn't get an email, just come to our website, seotrainingsw.com, and go to our blog area. You can sign up right there. Hey, guys and gals, I'm glad you watched this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions whatsoever about SEO or Internet marketing, please email me. My email is roy at seotrainingsw.com sw.com also make sure you visit our website seotrainingsw.com have a great week thank you for watching have a great day bye bye